How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video I have the HTC 10 and we're going to be showing you guys how to S off this device. Now there's a lot of reasons for getting doing S off, um, turning off the security on a boot, um, a lot of different things you can do with it. One of those I'm going to mention to you is actually making the unlocked HTC 10 work on Verizon. Um, so I'm going to link you to that post right here and pretty pretty awesome good things to do there and also if you have the Verizon HTC 10 if you check out this here um, by the Root Ninja you can mail it in unfortunately that's the only method we have available right now and get unlocked bootloader torp recovery installed and SF on the device for a fee of about 28 bucks or so plus shipping so not bad at all very very cool um, definitely an option for a lot of you guys so we're going to talk about this. There are some prerequisites on the device. You can see I already have uh, Super SU and I have Root with Root Checker. Um, you also are going to have to have an unlocked bootloader along with um, Torp Recovery installed. So unlocked bootloader, Torp Recovery, Root Access. Three prerequisites. I have videos on all those steps, so I'm going to link those in the video description down below. So definitely check those out if you have some time and do those before you run this SOF method. This SOF method does cost about 25 bucks. And I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to go into uh, Chrome here. And if I can get to it, here we go. And you're going to go to this site right here, the root.ninja. And this is where you can download Sunshine and get S off. So right here you can see the number one bootloader unlock tool, HTC, smartphone Motorola, Verizon, HTC 10, blah, 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 services available, download here. So we're going to download the Sunshine application. Just scroll down here to the bottom and it talks about downloading it and right here it is Motorola and HTC devices I'm gonna allow permissions to allow the download in Chrome hit OK and it is downloading so once it downloads we're gonna run through uh, we'll do ahead and install it you're gonna have to allow unknown sources and then we're just gonna run through the application it's normally very simple and user friendly to use which is a good thing and very well tested so we'll click on the APK hit settings go down here to unknown sources hit OK and go back um, I'm gonna see if I can get it from downloads here right there it is so downloads hit install and this will install the sunshine application which should get you S off now like I said this does cost money there's development that's into that put into this and it takes time so it is going to cost about $25 to do. So I'm going to go ahead and open the application and go ahead and read through this. Talks about warning about different things. Might be good to know. Um, this process does require you to wipe data factory set your device and I'll show you how to do it. And this warning talks about that specifically, um, which is good to read. So definitely do that. Um, just be prepared to wipe your data on a device. So I agree. Accept the license. Hit OK. You can read all this if you'd like or just continue like I am. And it's going to go ahead and test it is the first thing it does. And you have to grant root access, so we're going to do that. And that's a big part of the test because it needs to have root access. So it says it's passed. So let's hit continue. And Sunshine is running a full compatibility test. This will test, blah, 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 to make sure that you can unlock or S off your phone. This could take several minutes, blah, blah, blah. Be patient while it finishes. So basically... Um, the developer here is now running tests in the background to make sure that it will work and everything will work when they do S off on this device. Um, so, you know, no big deal. Just just wait for it to happen. All right. So looks like it says down here compatible. So we can pay for it by hitting buy and go through PayPal or whatever method that you want to to pay for this feature. Or if you have a code, you can put in a code. I actually have a code. So let me do that. So I entered my code. Uh, your purchase has been completed. Please wait while we generate a license. So once you enter the code, then a license gets sent to the device, and then it'll finish the process here. Obviously, you're going to need to be connected to Wi-Fi while you're doing this, or your cell signal, whichever. I don't have a SIM card in this one currently, so you may see that on top. It's not connected. I'm just using Wi-Fi. So everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and hit continue to get S off on this device here on the HTC 10. All right, so your license is being generated. That looks good. Running final final test here on the device. All right, the screen just went off, and it looks like it's rebooting. 
So not sure what that's going to do. Let's let it reboot here. Um, while it's rebooting, I'll talk about a little bit about why we have to wipe data factory set it at the end of it. Um, basically, HTC has a proprietary, um, I guess I would call proprietary encryption key on the system, um, on, the, on your device. And when you do this SOF method, your encryption gets screwed up. And that's why we have to format data in Torp Recovery after we finish SOF. Um, that is the biggest issue. That's what is going on here. And that's why we have to wipe data factory set it after we get S off. Okay, the device is booting up. And here it says your phone is encrypted. Put in your encryption password. We don't know what our encryption password is. So that does us no good, right? That's a big issue. So here's where you're going to go ahead and power down, power off. We're going to boot into uh, a boot uh, or bootloader. So to do that, hold volume up and down. Hold power for one, two, three, four. Let go. Keep holding volume up and down, and you're in a boot. And actually, this there we go. We can already see it. So unlocked and S off. You can see both those at the top of the screen. So we're gonna scroll down, down, down to boot to recovery mode. Hit uh, scroll down with volume and then hit power to select. This will boot us into Torp Recovery, which, like I said, is a prerequisite for this process. Um, once we get into Torp Recovery. We're going to just um, format data, and once we have data formatted, the device will boot back up again and won't have that encryption thing. Look, it even says encryption here, so just hit cancel. So now that Torp has booted up, we're just going to go into wipe, and then you have advanced wipe here. Let's just see what that does really quickly. So SD card data, data, okay, so we don't want that. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go wipe encryption, and wipe encryption from data. And we'll go ahead, and this says swipe to format data. So that's what we're going to do. And that's going to go ahead and format your data and remove that encryption from the device. So should be done. Let's go ahead and reboot system and see if we can get it to actually boot up without that encryption on it and get the device working once again. So as you can see, we have now moved into the Android is starting process. There are 65 applications to optimize. It's going to take a little bit. Give us some time. Um, once we do that, uh, remove encryption and Torp recovery. Uh, that's going to be uh, doing this. And, you know, whole total boot time probably is going to be around 10 minutes. All right. The process has finished. And we should be at the welcome screen, the setup wizard. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and run through my setup and show you we're running. So as you can see, we are all set up here and uh, devices boot back up. It's actually restoring some of my applications as we speak. Up here it's restoring some stuff. You can see some of them missing right there. So we're going to go in here. Now the one thing I did notice is that my Super SU application and anything I've downloaded has been removed because I wiped data factory reset the device. Um, but what I'm wondering is if root access has actually been removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to go in and install Super SU from the Google Play Store and see if that actually will allow me to just have root access again. Um, I'm thinking that the root SU binary has been left alone and okay. And so as soon as this downloads and installs, then I think it'll just work. We won't have to go into Torp Recovery and reflash the image, uh, the Super SU zip, I should say. Um, but that's what I'm gonna find out here in just a second. All right, so we're installed. Let's go ahead and open it and just see if it works or if we need to do it. Yep, okay, so there is no SU binary installed. So that's good to know. Um, basically, what you're going to need to do is just download Super SU once again, like we've done previously. It did install the application, but that's fine. We did previously in the root video and just reflash it. You can either be sideload it like you saw in the root video. You can just put it on your SD card, boot into twerp, and flash it that way. Either way, it doesn't matter, and that'll get root access back on your S off device. And you're going to need that, especially if you want to use any kind of root applications or you know do any other cool trickery on the HTC 10. So that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative for you. I'm going to go ahead and do that twerp install myself and get root fully functioning once again, and we'll go from there. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see on the HTC 10. I'll hopefully be able to make those for you, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Big props to Jay Case. Sunshine is awesome.